it's very good to come in to this place and come down a little bit before we um, you know begin even our meditation because the world is full of chatter full of chatter and we come here so that we may get back to our source the source connects with you in silence as long as the chatter is there you are not connecting to your creator you are not connecting to the universe you are not connecting to yourself you might believe that all this noise and all this thinking and all this doing in this world is what matters but true solutions true purpose comes to you only in silence when you go out into this universe like we go in the meditation sometimes we go into the universe and past the planets and into the milky way and you're surrounded by stars what is the first thing that occurs to you that there is no noise here there is no sound when once you go out into the universe yet it is the same universe that creates and manifests all of this all of this noise and chatter and you are made to believe that all this television this phone this uh, you know constant communication constant talking constant mixing with people is what it's all about Thomas Edison has is one of the greatest inventors and he perhaps you know has a lot of patents that are not even revealed yet he would sit in a chair with a steel bucket and a steel ball in his hand and he would sit and he would close his eyes and when he would fall asleep that ball would slip from his hand and fall into the bucket and wake him up and then he would pick up the ball again and hold it again and he would repeat the process because that period right before sleeping is when the thoughts are minimum it is what is the meditative period that alpha period right before you fall asleep and that is your most creative period so do you recommend to meditate at that time or early morning you meditate at any time you meditate but your attempt is to get to that state all i'm trying to say is that that period right before you sleep is your most intuitive that when it's everything quietens down the more you are silent the more intuitive you're going to be the more solutions you're going to find to your problems so stop the talking you have to stop the talking if you want things to happen silence is precious because i'm not talking about even the verbal uh, uh, talking i'm talking about the talking that's going on here the non stop voice in your head you know sometimes i feel that you know they always make fun of the schizophrenics about the voice in their head we've all schizophrenics all of us have got this non stop chatter in our heads until that stops you're not going to find the solution so what i was trying to say about thomas edison is that when he was looking for solutions he needed to connect and he connected like this and then it would occur to him you know some of your best solutions some of my best ideas come to me right before sleeping and the thing is i don't have a book and i go to sleep and i forget what i what i was going to write a lot of people or writers keep a journal by their bedsides because that just as you're falling asleep you're thinking about tomorrow okay i'm going to do tomorrow tomorrow i'm going to write the chapter on on um, the this part and then i'm going to write it's going to begin ah that's a great idea 
you're supposed to get up and quickly write that down. I never do that. Our solutions in life come to us in moments of silence. And these meditative moments come to us in many ways. You know, one of the a, a beautiful analogy that Rajiv spoke about a few days ago is you're exhausted, right? You take a trip up to the mountains. The mountain is right above Miramar. You know, it's just a mile away. You've driven up. You can see the lights of Miramar and you're taking your vacation. You're coming down. You're coming down and there's this lookout point. And you're sitting at this lookout point and you're staring into the valley. And the sun is rising above the hills. The city is there. The lights are there. You have to get back to them. But right now, all you can see is this greenery. The sun coming up. For a few moments, everything stops. Everything comes to a standstill. And that moment, nothing matters. Life becomes effortless. You have these moments very often when you see when you see beauty in nature, when you connect very deeply with the universe, that it all seems effortless. It all seems as if it's not it's not a pain, it's not effort, it's not a struggle, it's not exertion. All the problems that exist in our life are created because we don't connect to the source. We don't take time to connect to the creator. That connection is going to come in stillness when you don't move, when you're absolutely quiet. And that's why I ask during meditation that you take a sankalpa, take, you make an intention to remain still. Because in spite of the universe being still, in spite of the creator being still, look at the creation around us. Look at the beauty that has manifested from that intelligence. All of creation is like a wave in an ocean. All that you see, this universe, this manifestation, is just a perception of our mind. It is just a mirroring of that supreme intelligence that is creation, that is the master. And it comes from silence. So in that, when you get back to that source, you steady yourself, you know. It's like, every, I don't know, I, I was watching my, my niece walking this weekend. She's just learned to walk. And she keeps her legs like that, you know, wide apart. Like, so she's like a pyramid. Her legs are two feet apart. She's like, you know, John Wayne, <laughs> right there. But she's steady like that with a, with a strong base. And from there, she can, she can move. Then every time she falters, she steadies herself again. That's what we do, you know. We need a centeredness. We need something to, to keep us steady in, in our source, get back to who we are. We are not engineers and lawyers and, and computer specialists. We are not any of that. We are just pure divinity, pure love. That is the source. That is who we are. It has all been lost in all of our, you know, in, 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 in trying to make sense of this world. It's all a delusion. It's all, it's all maya. You connect to the source Supreme intelligence functions through you. Solutions come. Inventions take place. Discoveries are made. The truth is realized. It 
comes from silence. And I ask that after you finish this meditation, do not get into the world right away. Do not start talking. Take that feeling of silence with you, at least for one day. You have the chatter all the other days of the week. You have all the noise. Come into this place and walk through that door in silence. It is not a social event where you're expected to talk. You're expected to retreat into yourself. You're expected to contact the divine and the divine can only be contacted in silence. That source, that supreme intelligence is inside of you. It has all the answers that you are searching for. But you spend too much time. And it's training. You come out of a weekend of social activity where you have wedding receptions and, and uh, Ayushwamams and all these events that we go through that we're always talking, talking, talking. And what do you feel on, on the, the Monday morning? You feel trained. You feel exhausted. You have, you have one energy source that is your prana. You can use it for anything you please. You can use it for useless talk or you can use it to spread the love and, and, and the, uh, the compassion and, and, and just make groundbreaking changes in your life and everybody else's life. You have the option. What do you want to do? What do you want to be known as? You can be the social butterfly and the center of everything that's happening. Or you can be nothing. And in that nothingness, you will be connecting to something that's more beautiful than anything you can dream of. It's okay to talk for 15 or 20 minutes like this and raise someone's energy show them what is possible but the rest of the time what are we doing most of the time what are we doing it's just talk that leads us nowhere arguing discussing describing recalling Lamenting, longing, wanting, desiring. This is what our talk is concerned with all of the time. Perhaps in a day, 5% is really useful talk where you're using it to do something of some use. And I'm not saying that we can all be silent all the time, but we must use a certain percentage of our time to connect with our Creator. That quiet time just connects you unbelievably with your source. What do I do in the creative writing classes, which are, the children find it hard in the beginning to, to just sit and close your eyes and just imagine and just shut it all off all the other things that other people are saying and the cool things that you're supposed to do and the dress that you're supposed to be making and all the stuff that's going on to shut it off for a few minutes and think of the color pink. How boring is that? But then you think of all the adjectives connected to the color pink and then you write and see the magic that comes out on the paper. It's different when you stop. A shot that in tennis when you're going on the run is quite, even when you're going to hit a shot on the run, you stop, you balance yourself with your left hand and then you take your shot with the ball. That's how you play tennis. You center and then you hit. Every shot in tennis, you throw the ball up, you center and then you hit. Try to do it off balance and see where your ball will go. It will never go where it's supposed to go. That's my problem. <laughs> right? 
You have to center and then hit. So I'm making a request that all of you, when you come here, from 7 o'clock, will come here with quiet voices. We may talk about some things, but try to get into that mode. So at least this one hour in the week, we are connecting. And do yourself a favor. If you're not meditating, at least five minutes before you go to sleep, read something elevating and think about it for a few minutes as you fall asleep. That has a very positive effect too. Don't watch SVU before sleeping, law and order. Don't watch 48 hours. And for God's sake, don't listen to the news. <laughs> it's the most, it can be the most, the world is beautiful. The solutions, the happiness, whatever you want is within you. The power is right here. See, he agrees. <laughs> That's the divine telling you that this is the main message. The power is within you. It is up to you to tap into it and unleash it. And then your life can be magical. So, on that note, we shall do some pranayama and begin today's meditation. Any questions?